this is the next day and although I don't provide links or edit any of my clips except for some of the recent ones I've been adding some music again long ago I used to add some original music these are uh, caramelized onions which I made last night uh, they are just you know caramelized in butter in this cocotte and uh, I took them out of there and they're resting in a bowl and these are the kraut uh, krapfen and it was a long tube that I had all rolled up and I wrapped it in sulfurized paper overnight and uh, kept it in the fridge this morning um, I sliced it you can see there they're not uniform but these have uh, grated, hand grated uh, Emmentaler cheese in them and uh, that beautiful sauerkraut and that is a homemade uh, egg dumpling dough so I've got hot butter here, fresh hot unsalted butter and closer to lunchtime because it's only 10:30 now, and my husband asked, "Please, no, no meat for lunch today." He he got us some chicken actually yesterday, so I'm probably going to make chicken adobo uh, Filipino style for dinner tonight. So this will be a vegetarian lunch. And oh, look at all this stuff I have in here. These are the chicken things marinating. I have. I have galette, buckwheat. these are ready-made buckwheat galette. You, it's a very, very thin uh, plain crepe. You heat butter and uh, heat them on both sides and put a, an egg over them or some country sausage. I think probably for lunch today I've got some leftover quinoa, red and white quinoa with vegetables. And I also have some lovely fresh mushrooms from the market on Sunday. And these are champignons de Paris. These are button mushrooms, and these are natural, so they're a little bit brown. So there's the cluttered kitchen, and this is going to be lunch today. And I really recommend kraut kraften. It's not difficult to make. It's, it's not a very well-known recipe anymore but uh, it's just so so good you, you know remember I showed you yesterday there's a little bit of uh, quatre piece in the dough you could use just plain old ground nutmeg quatre piece is ground cinnamon nutmeg clove and pepper and it's a staple in French cooking they use it for soups and mashed potatoes and a lot of stuff so uh, this is food that really schmecks, <laughs> and I hope you're all well. Uh, I keep meaning to show you guys how I taught myself this year how to do a really good French housewife puff pastry, and believe me, once you've had your own, uh, and it really only takes by the second time uh, that you do it to have it down. Uh, you just you just won't want to use the the ready-made crusts anymore. See, here's here's a ready-made crust, and this is uh, pâte brisée. So this isn't puff pastry. This is a much flatter one, and I asked for this because they're handy. They're very very handy. Uh, but really, even even if even if you get a better brand. Um, there, there's just something processed and, and like sort of greasy about them that once once you make your own you just really don't want the store bought anymore except this is good for, for things like pigs in blankets and, and, uh, and quick things that you really need to do alright, see you later